Blanchett, but it's Kate Blanchett. Yeah, my mother has this trouble in banks, where if you say Blanchett, they put an E on it. If you say Blanchett, they think you say Blanchard. So I'd normally say Kate Blanchett. Blanchett? Hmm. Well, well, that's even more confusing. Yeah, Blanchett. Makes yeah. I have no Blanchett. idea how to spell the rest of the Blanchett. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I thought it was Blanchett. But uh, can it be Blanchett? Are we, would you prefer that? No. Whatever you, I mean, no, I just keep hearing I it. I aim to please. Yeah, all right. Well, then, no, I'm going to call you Blanchett. Bla or Blanchett. Yeah. Because that's what you call yeah. yourself. Congratulations on the nomination. That's Thank really you. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's lovely. It's really it's yeah. lovely. All right. So now, the, the accent, the Catherine Hepburn accent, are you good at accents, or is that...? No, I'm not. I have to work really hard at it. And, uh -huh. you know, I'm terrible. Like, at dinner parties afterwards, people invariably ask you to kind of do the Scottish or do the Hepburn, and they always end up sounding Indian. Yeah. So, you know... <laughs> you yeah. didn't know Hepburn was from Bombay, yeah. did you? <laughs> if I did it, I could. That's probably the only one I can do. I, I can do a Catherine Hepburn if you want me to. That's not at all. That's what I can do. <laughs> You could do the aviator part too. I had been reading for the aviator <laughs> part and then I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know why. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Thanks. So <laughs> <laughs> So you're from Australia? Yeah. And I and am. what part? I'm from Melbourne originally, but then I went to drama school in Sydney, so uh -huh. I guess Sydney. And so, but I understand a lot of people when you, a lot of Australian actors now, you you have to learn a lot of different accents, right? Is that what you well, you Hepburn, you know, couldn't really talk like that. So, no. you know, you, you do... You, not everyone speaks the way I speak, and I never assume that, so... Yeah. Could you fall right into that now, or no? It's impossible to the do... The Hepburn or uh -huh. the... Um, if you wanted to sound like that, I can. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But look, I'll tell you what, if, if anyone out there... I'm not going to do it, but if anyone out there has a Celine Dion project, I would kill to play... The life story of Celine Dion. Really? Look, I've got this red mark on my chest because I was you hit outside. Yourself? She always hits herself. I just think it's uh, remarkable. Yeah. Oh, she always she does. She she's yeah. been here a couple of times and she she always hits herself. She gets <laughs> so into it that she's, she's. And I heard I really want to go and see her show because I hear she's got like ninety wigs, ninety wigs in the show. Oh I think wow! I want to see. I want to see that. That's show. two less than me. <laughs> so, that's a lot. Yeah, you should go see it. I, I hear it's amazing. You haven't seen it? No, I have not seen it. But she was she was great here. Now, did you really hit yourself out? Why do I, you have a red mark right there? I did, because I was hitting myself at being Celine Dion. Yeah? Do, not, you, not, do you sing? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> but don't let that stop the projects about no, Celine okay. Dion coming in. I'll learn. Yeah, <laughs> you, you'd, you'd lip sync it. Somebody else well, would sing well, it. Yeah. All right, well, you're going to get a ton of offers for the Celine Dion project. I just like to put these things out yeah. there. Because you really did look remarkably like... Here's... Uh, uh, if... If we show you in The Aviator, which you were so marvelous in, by the way, and this is Katherine Hepburn. Look at that. But see, that's the odd thing. I mean, that was a, something, you know, I can't control, is that the early Hepburn is always seen in black and white, and it's a really disconcerting thing, then, seeing me do it in colour with that red lipstick. And mm -hmm. knowing, I mean, I didn't even know how covered in freckles she was or even that she was a redhead. I didn't know she was with Howard Hughes. I didn't know that story at all. Well, she tried to keep it quiet, but... These right. things leak out. Well, and that he helped uh, her and Spencer and Tracy and that, I mean... Yeah, they, they sort of substituted that bit in the... It was poetic licence. I think that was to replace the fact that he was the one who suggested... Hughes suggested that she buy the rights to the Philadelphia story because she was doing it on stage and at that point no one, can you believe it, wanted to hire her. Really? And then he, he paid the $25,000, I think, for the rights so that when the film was made, it had to be made with Hepburn. I mean, and can you imagine the Philadelphia story without Hepburn? It's no. just inconceivable. No. It's, it's, I didn't know that. It's, it's really a great movie, and Leo's amazing, and he you're amazing. amazing. And now, are you prepared? Do you have a speech? What do you do when you go to the... when you know you're nominated? Because you want to be prepared, right? Do you... How can you prepare for losing or winning that thing? I mean, it's lovely to be nominated, but no, I haven't got a speech. Well, you can say it's lovely to be nominated, but you know when you're sitting there, you're hoping it's your name. And then, <laughs> I mean, it, and then... If but you, no. you just try and... You do try and forget about it until the day. Yeah. And they keep reminding you how many millions of trillions of people are watching I know. Watching That's the first you. thing they say when it starts out. How do you feel? Yeah, a trillion people are watching mm. live. From, are, are you going to bring a good luck a charm or anything like that with you? I might. Yeah? Yeah. What do you have? Well, um... Someone who was very close to, to Hepburn gave me a little trinket of hers 
and I might take that with me. Oh, really? I was very touched. Yeah. That's very sweet. That well, you should absolutely bring that. Mm. Don't don't think about it. Do it. Yeah. And then, Although, are you superstitious? Well, I'm not, but I didn't know if you were or not, and I like to give gifts when I have, you know, someone on the show, and I know there's a big event coming up, and uh, I really, I wish you the best of luck, and there's, the only thing I know, I don't know much about the superstitious thing, but I know what's good luck at a Chinese restaurant is, uh, <laughs> is this kitty, and they're always at Chinese restaurants, so I thought maybe you'd bring that. It's subtle, I don't think anyone will notice yeah. it. So well, where would you where would you wear it? It could be a, it could be a purse. You can put money in the slot right there because it's a piggy bank, really. Or if I got two, they could be shoes. Yeah, <laughs> you'd get photographed a lot. I would. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I just see them as good luck in Chinese restaurants. So uh, oh, bring it or not, you. you don't have to. But uh, it's, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Maybe they should change the Oscar to a big cat with lots of little oh, cats. That's it. <laughs> That's a great idea. What have you done this summer? I want to hear all about, did you travel? Did you... Uh... I did not get into a bikini. No? I went to Australia. You did? Yes. Uh-huh. My country of birth. Yes, where did you go? Where, to, to Australia. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a large continent. It is. I went to Sydney uh -huh. and to Melbourne. Yes. And then down on the river, outside Sydney. On the river? Yes. On a river boat? Yeah. Uh, or did yes. you swim? Did you swim in the river? No, because there's bullnose sharks in the river. But I only found that after we'd gone swimming in the river with all of my kids for about two weeks. And then they said, oh, you better not swim there because there's bullnose sharks. We didn't get eaten, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be <laughs> yeah. here. But yes. Because that would be a bad end to the story. It, it would. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know there's all kinds of dangerous things there. Yes, everything dangerous lives yeah. in Australia. And yet you let them swim in the river. Yes. Well, I didn't, well no, I didn't realise there'd be sharks. I knew there were mud crabs, but, you know, they're usually on the bottom. Mud crabs are those big giant things that... That can take your arm off. <laughs> if you have a little arm, like a little three-year-old arm. <laughs> How old but is your... Three-year-old. Yeah, she's, she's three. <laughs> she's three, isn't she? She's delicious. Yeah. Yes. Um, it can take your arm off? Yes. Like, the, that's what we did, actually, if you're interested. Are you genuinely interested? Because I could go on. I, yes. Yeah. You I'm, I'm genuinely we interested. We went hunting for truffles. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. you use pigs? With, with my, no. This is the thing. If you go hunting for truffles, do not, do not use pigs, because they will take your fingers off. Because the pig actually wants the truffle. Yes. Whereas if you go with a dog, dogs hate truffles. They want the treat. I see. So if you're going truffle hunting, all of you, I'm sure, every single person <laughs> in the audience... <laughs> has been or wants to go hunting for truffles. Right. But that's what I did in my summer. A lot of people are doing that now. Is it fun? It is. It's incredible. It, they're so pungent. If you put a truffle into a sealed jar with eggs and left it overnight, it infuses the shell and you have truffled scrambled eggs ne the next morning. If you like truffles. If you like truffles. Or you stick half a knob into a bottle of vodka and then that's What's it. What's a knob? Also, a knob. What's a knob? What, a <laughs> What's a knob? A knob is a, it was a slang term for an idiot. <laughs> or, or can you say, can you say this on television? Can you say that on television? Why would you put that in a, what, what do you? <laughs> no, a knob, a knob, I'm like a knob of butter. Don't you use that in cooking? Why did you just curse in my ear if you just, <laughs> what, you, it, that's not what you meant and you just decided to curse in my ear. <laughs> You I'm should hear what she just said not. to me. It's got nothing to do with this entire story. <laughs> but you can't say what you... So you can't say what I said it? <laughs> <laughs> I will not. Um, all right. No. A knob, like a knob of butter, like a knob. No, what is a knob? A, no a knob. Like a, knob. a tablespoon? Yeah. But uh, except... If, say that. If you... A truffle... Do you know what a truffle looks like? It kind of looks like a hard dog turd. So it's got little knobs on it. That's, That's what you shouldn't like... say, is, is okay, hard dog that turd. turd. Um, or poop, like a... But anyway. <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of a... Like a knob. They've seen... <laughs> I don't know what you... They've seen truffles. You know what truffles look like, right? And then they shave them at your table, and they're very expensive. That, to me, is the only thing that would be worth it, is if you find them, but, but you probably have to pay to go look for truffles so it balances out. Yes, at first, I thought, we found lots. And I thought, wow, this woman's really generous. She's letting us keep everything. But no, we didn't get to keep anything. It was all about finding them. And then they take them away from you. Well, and, yeah. then, and you had to pay her in addition? Y yes, but we learned a lot about fungi and truffles. And you get a knob, which is a bit of it, and you stick it in the vodka, and that is incredible. Truffle or... vodka? Yeah. Like infused vodka? Yeah. 
really good. If you like truffles, again. Yeah, and vodka. Yeah. But... Well, who doesn't like vodka? I don't know. No show of hands. Nobody. Nobody oh, doesn't. Pe people don't like there's vodka. There's about seven people in the audience who don't like vodka. Really? And they're and they're all doing this because they don't want to admit no, it. No. <laughs> All right, um, so you went, th you went there, but now you don't live in Australia anymore. That's why you went to visit, because you live in the UK. Yes, that's right. Right. Yeah. And so your whole family, you took them with you? <laughs> yep. Yes, they it's a long there. trip. Yes. What, took them to Australia? I just all of a sudden realized it's a stupid question. Of course they live with you. I said you took them with you. Um, <laughs> yes. So they all live there. <laughs> you brought the three-year-old? <laughs> they live with me. Right. I've got, got all of them. OK. Well, I've got four, four children. Yeah, how old are they? Three? S Sixteen. Three. Three. Uh, 10, 14, and 16. So the 16 year old is driving? Yes. Well, a, about to. He can get his. How old are you, are you here? I think, is here? it your learner's permit at 16 here? 15 and a half. 15 and a half? And a half? <laughs> you get into a car when you're 15 and a half? Yeah. Well, it is dangerous. 15 and a knob. And a knob, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little knob. Yeah.